What is up people this is YSHQ and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play music using the MPD or the music player daemon. So MPD is a flexible powerful server side application for playing music. The Mopd tutorial that I put out earlier that too works on MPD. Now MPD is an application but to play it using the console I'll be using a client known as MPC. So let's get started. Login into SSH. Now just copy and paste these lines. What these will do is that it will install MPD, MPC, and Alsa Utils. Alsa Utils, it is for the Alsa mixer which we'll be using. Next, these lines are important because the MPD configuration files, which I'll show in a second. Because MPD configuration file, that is this one, we'll just open it and go through it. Now in this file, there's everything, the music directory, the playlist directory, the DV directory, log directory and so on. But for me, changing the music directory did not work and hence I had to find another alternator for the same. And and there I stumbled upon this. I link the author if I find him down below. But what this does is that it uses the ch mod and gives it permission 775, which will be described over here, to home pi music. Now home pi music is the directory in which I store all my music files. These are the music files that I have stored into the music folder. Adding this will give it will give it uh, certain permissions. Next, we will transfer those to the MPD audio. And hence, just copy this and paste. Now, this last part, that is the music part, it can be changed to any other folder name, or it can be a subfolder of any other folder. Just add it over here in the end, and it will be done. Now, if you press enter. These all music files would be linked to MPC. That's the main thing. MPT, sorry. That's the main thing. The next thing to do is just open up MPC. Now, I'll be linking down this page in the description. So just go through it. These are all the commands that have to be used or can be used with MPC for certain outputs. So just to check the version of MPC, we can just scroll down, go to version. Now the only thing it says is to type in version. So hence, if I type in version MPC, this shows the current MPD version. Next, if I want to see all the music files, then I can do is type in ls. Hence, MPC. The, this lists all the music files into the folder. As you can compare from here, those are the same files. In Next, if I want to see the playlist or list all songs, I can just use list all. And for the next thing, if I want to play these, so what I have to do is just type in add and then use and then type in the name of the mp3 so it can be like mpc add i'll just put in this song let's copy it as it says name and hence i'll put in the apostrophes and just enter now what is this will do is it will add it to the library or the playlist now to list the playlist I'll have to type in ls again so mpc ls now this still types in now this still shows everything so the next thing I'll do is I'll type in mpc playlist because it is the playlist that we create mpc playlist. now these are all the 
songs that I added earlier, but this is the new one which I added. So just to check it, we'll clear the playlist. That is MPC clear. If we see playlist, it is empty now. So if we use the above command, there's the add. Now if you check in playlist, it will show the same song over here. Next, the, uh, there are multiple functions like changing the volume, the repeat, random, single, consume. These are the five main options. So to change the volume, the only thing to do is MPC volume and then you can either increase it or set it. There, those are the two options. Now if I set it to 50, which right now it shows you, so if I just type in 50, my mistake. If I just type in 50, it changes it to 50 directly. Or let's say 75, it changes it to 75. But if I want to use some other cover, some Python script or any other script in which it gets a in which it gets an input from the user and increases the volume step by step so all I have to do is volume then plus or minus whatever just 10 so it changes it changes it to 85 similarly minus 20 65 that's it toggle now this command I'll show later on in my python script the next thing the shuffle now sh shuffle command can be used in a playlist it would randomize all the songs the next thing is the search save the save is an important function if you want to create playlists all you do is mpc then save and then the name of the playlist now the consume command so this was a bit of a mystery for me but what this does is that it would remove the songs from the playlists as they are played so once a song is played it won't be played again this might be important for some but not for me then next changing the random or repeat so what i have to do is just mpc random and just on or off as i have it on i'll turn it on as you can see from on to off similarly for repeat there you have it okay so to play the audio from the playlist all you do is mpc play and it is playing the first song if i type and pause it will pause it over there now to go to the next or the or to the previous one I'll just add everything into a playlist so first I'll clear it out then I'll use this specific line this is given in the manual and just copy it paste it and paste it playlist these are all the songs added now to show just MPC it is playing the first song. Now, if I want to go into the second song, all I do is type in MPC next. Now, this starts the second song. But if I want to go to the previous one, I'll just change next to previous. P R E V. I'll go to the first song again. Now, to remove a song from the playlist, just type in delete D E L and the position of the song. So, first we'll pause it. We'll get a reference. Now we'll just delete it. So MPC till and one. As you can see, the first song that was the Polaris was removed. Now there are multiple things that can also be done. Just go through it, and it it is quite easy. So it can be used now for the next part what I did was I made a Python script which is this one I connected seven buttons this diagram 
shows the use of each and every button that is to seek to change the volume for next and previous and pause and play so i just gave all these buttons a cpr numbering of vcm then i made them pull up down these are the gpr numbers 2 3 4 17 27 22 and 10 these are all in line and hence i use them on only thing i have to do is connect this gpio to the ground and it turns the gpio off which is the condition i used everywhere also in my previous videos so i gave variables plp that is play and pause the previous the next the volume up volume down seek back and seek forward so these seek forward and seek back these commands as are already available on your dvd players or any other mp3 players which would which would skip the song to a certain degree forward or backward that is the seek one but what, what i next did was uh, was i imported the library os so the os library would let me run os commands that is the shell commands using python so what i did was os dot system and inside it i typed in mp toggle mpc toggle so this toggle command what it would do is that it would if a song is running or playing so it would pause it and if it is in pause state or stop state it would play it and i added a sleep time of 0.5 seconds just so that there is no extra inputs from the gpio until the point it is released next the mpc next previous volume up down in the volume up down i add and subtract 5% of the total volume the next seek back in this i also add and subtract 5% of the total song's length that's it now in the next clip i'll be showing you my setup and the practical implementation of this just keep in mind that my wires can be replaced with switches and switches would be a better idea but i just just didn't have enough switches so bear with it now as you saw the diagram earlier which is displayed again so these are the buttons the for the middle one would be the play and pause both on the sides would be the previous and next after those would be the seek forward and seek back after those would be the volume plus and volume minus now these can be reconfigured re in any place or position that you like it is based on the user's preference the next thing is the connection what i did what i was i gave a common ground next i took out seven gpios and unstripped the wires from them then to play and pause i just connect the middle gpio that is the gpio 17 wire to the ground and it plays or pauses the music similarly it goes on for the previous and next seek forward and seek back and volume up and volume down So thank you people for watching this video like this video or dislike it subscribe to the channel share it go to my other videos and see you next time tada